Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear students. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the MCQs uh, on carbohydrates metabolism. That was the part one of the carbohydrates metabolism. And now, in this lecture, we will discuss more MCQs on carbohydrates metabolism. There are more uh, other MCQs related to the metabolism of the carbohydrates that will be discussed in the coming lectures. The first MCQ is iodine solution produces uh, no color with option A cellulose, starch, dextrin or glycogen. So the best option is the cellulose. With, the cellu uh, with cellulose iodine solution produces no color. Glycogen structure includes a branch in between glucose units. Because uh, glycogen is glucose monomer similar to glycogen, so glycogen may the number of the glucose units uh, may be 16 to 12, 8 to 14, 6 to 10, or 12 to 18. So the best answer is that 12 to 18. Amylose as a polysaccharide contains glucose units. So amylose is the largest polysaccharide. Hai, to iska the number of the glucose is 300 to 400. What is the net gain of ATP during conversion of glucose to pyruvate? Uh, it is the process of the glycolysis during which the glucose molecule is converted into the pyruvate so is the net ATP jo milti hai wo two ATPs milti hai jo banti hai wo four hai that is a gross ATP and the net ATP are two kyunke do ATP glycolysis ko process mein istimal ho jati hai active transport of sugar is depressed by the agent active transport that is the movement of the sugar molecule from low concentration to high concentration is cocoon suppress karta hai that is a melanoid melanoid suppress the active transport of uh, sugar cerebrosides consists of mostly what type of sugar so cerebroside mainly consists of galactose sugar the free energy change delta G is that is equal to zero at equilibrium. Galactose is a main constituent of galactose is a monosaccharide. It is mainly found in the milk sugar. So the milk may lactose hota or lactose glucose or galactose se milk banta hai. Which of the following is the most abundant biomolecule on the earth? Lipid proteins carbohydrates and nucleic acids so the most abundant biomolecule are the carbohydrates which of the following are the major functions of carbohydrates storage structural framework transport material both storage and structure so the both structure and the storage are the function of the carbohydrates D glucose and alpha D glucose and beta D glucose are related by these are the epimers, enomers, uh, multi rotation are the ketoenol, these are the enomers. The stable ring formation in D glucose involve D glucose mein jo ring formation hoti hai, carbon 1 and carbon 5 hota hai, jo carbon 6 hota hai, that is outside the ring hota hai. Reduction of glucose with calcium in water produces reduction of glucose with calcium produces in water produce, uh, produces the sorbitol. In skeletal muscles, glycogen synthesis occurring uh, occurs during jo skeletal muscles mein glycogen ki synthesis hoti hai during the relaxation of the muscles. The following hormones have hyperglycemic effect except insulin have the hypoglycemic effect hexokinase has a high affinity for glucose than glucokinase hexokinase has high affinity for glucose than glucokinase dihydroxyacetone phosphate dhap and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate are interconverted by jo apas mein jo dihydroxyacetone phosphate aur glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate ko jo enzyme convert karta hai uska naam hai phosphatidase isomerase 
phosphotriose isomerase convert dihydroxyacetone phosphate to dihydroxyglyceraldehyde 3 phosphate then it will move further in the process of the glycolysis glucose amine is an important constituent of mucopolysaccharide glycogen is present in all body tissue except brain brain ke lawa glycogen tamam body tissues mein maujood hota hai transketulase activity is affected in thiamine deficiency gluconeogenesis occurs in which of the following gluconeogenesis is the formation of glucose from the amino acid or from the lipids the mainly in this process occurs in the liver और ये प्रीवियस पेपर्स में आ चुका है तो आंसर इज द लिवर वॉन जेक्स डिजीज इज करेक्टराइज बाय डिफिशंसी ऑफ एंजाइम्स वॉन जेक्स डिजीज इज करेक्टराइज बाय डिफिशंसी ऑफ एंजाइम ग्लूकोज सिक्स फास्फेटेस ग्लाइकोजन सिंथेटेज एक्टिविटी इज डिप्रेस्ड बाय साइक्लिक एमपी डिप्रेस द एक्टिविटी ऑफ ग्लाइकोजन सिंथेटेस the branching enzyme acts on the glycogen when the glycogen chain has been lengthened to between glucose units that is 6 to 11 glucose enter the cells by insulin independent transport insulin dependent transport enzyme mediated transport both a and b are the best answer glycogen while being acted upon by ectophosphorylase is converted first to तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जो ग्लाइकोजन जब ग्लूकोज में कन्वर्ट होगा तो इट विल कन्वर्ट इन टू द ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट ग्लूकोज सिक्स फास्फेट में कन्वर्ट होने के साथ और ग्लूकोज सॉरी ग्लाइकोजन विद वन कार्बन लेस में कन्वर्ट होगा सिट्रेट इज कन्वर्टेड टू आइसोसिट्रेट बाय एक्नाइटेज विच कंटेंट्स आयरन द रिएक्शन सक्सिनाइल को एंजाइम ए टू सक्सिनेट रिक्वायर्स ADP because during this process ATP is formed by using this ADP which of the following reaction gives lactose kaun sa reaction jo na wo lactose produce karega to as we know lactose is the uh, disaccharide made up of galactose and glucose to so, UDP glucose and the galactose uh, UDP galactose and glucose is the best answer जो गलेक्टोज होगा वो यूडीपी होगा और ग्लूकोज सिंपल इट विल फॉर्म द लेक्टोज यूडीपी ग्लूक्रोनिक एसिड इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द बायोसेंसिस ऑफ कॉन्ड्यूटीन सल्फेट्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मेटाबोलाइट्स इंटीग्रेट्स ग्लूकोज एंड फैटी एसिड मेटाबॉलिज्म तो कौन सा मेटाबोलाइट ग्लूकोज और फैटी एसिड मेटाबॉलिज्म को इंटीग्रेट करता है इट इज एसिटाइल कोएंजाइम ए iodine test is positive for starch dextrin and glycogen so iodine test is negative for cellulose the following coenzyme is needed for the oxidative decarboxylation of keto acids what enzyme is required it is the tpp it's a coenzyme for uh, decarbo oxidative decarboxylation of keto acids the total glucose in the body in grams is 20 to 30 in uh, emden meruf pathway a two phosphoglyceride is converted to two phosphoglyceride is converted in two phosphoenol pyruvate it's a step of the glycolysis during two phosphoglyceride is converted into the phosphoenol pyruvate and no pleurotic reaction which sustains the availability of oxaloacetic acid is the carboxylation of pyruvate under anaerobic conditions the glycolysis of uh, one mole of glucose yields how much moles of atp anaerobic conditions mein two uh, moles of the atp produce hote hain during the glycolysis two important by products of um, hexone monophosphate pathway shunt hmp shunt are nadph and pentose sugars 
pyruvate dehydrogenase complex and alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex require the following for the oxidative to decarboxylation it is the coenzyme a when it, there is no acyl group and it is called the coenzyme a, a tpp nad fad and lipoate our body can get pentosis from hmp shunt pentose production is increased in HMP shunt. Conversion of alanine to carbohydrate is termed as alanine se carbohydrate banayenge to it is gluconeogenesis. Agar alanine se carbohydrate banayenge to phir bhi gluconeogenesis uh, lipids se banayenge to phir bhi gluconeogenesis and the process of gluconeogenesis mainly occur in the liver. Human heart muscle contain human heart muscle mein kaun sa carbohydrate hota hai to it is the dexylose. The intermediate and hexose monophosphate shunt is D-ribulose. The following metabolic abnormalities occur in diabetes mellitus except. Kon kon se abnormalities hongi? Increase uh, plasma fatty acids. Increase pyruvate carboxylase activities nahi hongi. Decrease lipogenesis and decrease gluconeogenesis. Baki sari hongi lekin increase pyruvate carboxylase activate nahi hoga. And essential for converting glucose to glycogen endeavor is UTP. Glucose tolerance is decreased in diabetes mellitus. During glycolysis, fructose 1,6 diphosphate is decomposed by the enzyme aldolase. Conversion of glucose to glucose 6 phosphate in human liver is by इसकी एंजाइम कौन सा चाहिए हेक्सोकाइनेज और ग्लूकोकाइनेज दोनों इन्वॉल्व होते हैं ग्लूकोस को ग्लूकोस 6 फास्फेट में कन्वर्ट करने के लिए हेक्सोकाइनेज और ग्लूकोकाइनेज ग्लाइकोजन इज कन्वर्टेड टू ग्लूकोस 1 फास्फेट बाय कौन सा एंजाइम चाहिए होगा इट के इसके जो फास्फोराइलेज एंजाइम चाहिए होगा बिकॉज़ वी ऐड द फास्फेट ग्रुप दैट्स ऑल अबाउट द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द एमसीक्यूज ऑन मेटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ द कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स इन नेक्स्ट uh, lecture we will discuss part 3 on the metabolism of the carbohydrates mcqs thank you so much